Today we're going to have a look at setting things like your monitor suspend time and your screensaver time through your Xorg settings and also doing it through Xset. Now, keep in mind that what we're going to be doing today is dependent on there being an Xorg server. So if you're a Wayland user, what I'm doing today won't work for you. I presume I've never used Wayland. What we're going to be doing is dependent on there being an X server. So let's just go over to my main screen and see how this would work. Now, the first way we're going to be going over is through the X set method. We're doing X set first just because it's easier to record. Then afterwards, I'll show you the stuff you can set up in your Xorg server to do it just by default. So what you're going to need is to download a program by the name of Xset. This on Arch Linux will be available in the Xorg Xset package. So Xorg Xset. And I've already got it installed, so just update that. Now, this program is a really useful tool. It'll let you set a lot of different settings for your Xorg server. We're not going to be touching most of it today. We're just going to be touching the screensaver stuff and the suspend stuff. Now, before I get to that, I should probably explain some concepts. Now, when I say screensaver, I don't mean like a fancy thing you see on like Windows. You can do that with another program by the name of X Screensaver, but anything you set in X Screensaver or like XFCE Screensaver, whatever that one's called, or whatever GNOME uses or KDE uses, all of that will override your Xorg settings and whatever you set in X set. So if you're doing any of that stuff, you can still do the X set stuff, but keep in mind that those programs will just override all of the settings we're doing today. So if you have any problems, it might be caused by one of those programs running. The screensaver is basically the screensaver that's built into your monitor. So not all monitors have this. Some will just instantly go to a black screen, but my Asus monitor, when it goes into like a sort of power down state, it'll have a little box on the screen that just bounces around. Different monitors will have different things. As I said, some won't have anything, some will. There's a couple of different states your monitor can be in. So we have suspend, standby, blank, and off. Now, on modern LCD monitors, generally there's not much of a difference between each of these states. Now, standby and suspend on my monitor mean exactly the same thing. They generally will mean the same thing. They meant different things with a CRT monitor where there was a physical different state for standby and suspend, but now it's kind of there just for legacy purposes. Off may work on your monitor. For me, off is the same as standby and suspend. Off, what it could do is like physically turn the monitor off. For me, that doesn't happen though, and for a lot of monitors, that won't be the case. And blank is very similar to off. Basically, what blank is going to do is basically turn the screen black without actually turning it off which may sound a lot like standby and suspend, and that's because it is, because they're all very similar states. Once again, on a modern LCD monitor, there's not really much of a difference. So that's just the difference between those states. I felt like it was a good idea to get the differences out of the way early on. So let's just have a look at my main screen again and go through setting some stuff. Now, the first thing you're probably going to want to do is run xset-q. Xset-Q will basically let you look at all of your Xorg settings, or at least all of the ones that we care about for today. Now, the settings that we specifically care about are these ones in here. So the screensaver ones, and also the DPMS settings. So DPMS means Display Power Management Signaling. That's basically the system that we're working with today. There are a couple of settings in here that don't really work if you're just doing monitor screensavers, like Allow Exposures and Prefer Blanking. When you're just doing it through this method, allow exposures basically means nothing. If you're using something like X Screensaver, it does have a bit of a difference, but I'll talk about that more when I do a video on X Screensaver. Same with prefer blanking. Now, cycle is also linked to allow exposures, so we're not going to bother talking about that one today either. The ones we care about are timeout, and also these values in here, and also, I guess, this in here as well. So timeout is the time before your screensaver starts. And this is measured in seconds. So in 600 seconds, my screensaver will start. 600 seconds is 10 minutes. Now, standby, suspend, and off, I've got set to the exact same values just because they don't do anything different on my system. So I might as well just put them at the same thing. Now, I've got it set to 900 seconds, which is 15 minutes. So there'll be a five minute window where my screensaver is running. And then after that window's over, it'll go into suspend mode. And the other one that's obviously important is DPMS is enabled. Monitor is on is pretty straightforward what that means. Let's go through some of the things we can do with Xset. Now, if your DPMS is disabled, the first thing you're going to want to do is run Xset plus DPMS. 
Now what this is going to do is basically just turn your DPMS settings on. For me though, mine were already turned on, so if we want to disable them, if you're going to disable them, I guess there's no point following along with the video, but anyway, you might want to disable them. If we run xset minus dpms, that will actually turn them off. So let's just run xset dash q. And as you can see, now it's not actually telling me that my monitor is turned on because dpms is disabled, so it doesn't actually care to check. Let's just turn it back on so we can go mess with the settings. Run that one there, xset dash q. DPMS is enabled, monitor is on. Now, let's have a look at the man page and see what we can mess with. Basically, there's two options we're going to be, I guess, four options technically that we're going to be looking at today. I've already showed you minus DPMS and plus DPMS, but the other ones we're going to be looking at is this one right here, so DPMS with some flag options and also the S option. The DPMS option will let you do things like set your standby, suspend, and off time and also let you force any of those states. The S option is for messing with your screensaver settings. So let's go with the DPMS option first just because that's what we are already messing with. So if we go XSET DPMS, let's do 500, 300, 200. So what this is basically going to do is set my standby time to 500, my suspend time to 300 and my off time to 200. And if we try to run this now, as you can see, it's going to stop you doing that because your standby time can't actually be greater than your suspend time. So if we just change the order of those numbers, 200, 300, 500, basically the reason it's doing that is because standby is a greater power state than suspend and suspend is a greater power state than off. So it doesn't really make any sense to go from, I don't know, off to standby to suspend back to off. That doesn't make any sense as a way to do your settings, so it just doesn't let you do that. Now if we try to run it again, xset dash q, as you can see, standby is now set to 200, suspend is 300, and off is 500. But as I said earlier, all of these states for me are the exact same, so in this case, nothing different is actually going to happen. All that's going to happen now is my standby time is going to start at 200, and then it's just going to continue being in the same state, I guess, until I move my mouse again. Now I did mention there was one other thing we we're going to go over for DPMS. If we go XSET DPMS and go force, and let's say we wanted to force the off state, or we could force standby, or we could force suspend. As I've been saying over and over again, they're the same thing for my system though. Now I don't know what OBS is going to do when I do this. Let's find out. So I presume you can still hear me, but there shouldn't be anything on my screen at all right now. So if I just move my mouse, I guess I'll have to see what happens during... There we go. Okay, it's back. I don't actually know what you saw during all of that, so I'll see in post, I guess. So what it did for me is it put my screen in a suspend state. Basically, the screen just went black, and when I moved my mouse again, then it turned back on. Let's go have a look at the settings for the screensaver. So if we do X set S, this will let us do any of the screensaver settings. And if we write off here, basically what this is going to do is disable the screensaver. Now... I don't know how well this is going to work. Once again, it really depends on whether your monitor is actually going to respect the Xorg settings. Because for me, I've run this and the screensaver has still come up. What it should do though is just ignore the screensaver state and automatically just go to the screen being off. So run this and we go xset dash q and we can now see our settings. Okay. And as you can see now, the timeout has been set to zero. Zero is basically the equivalent of just disable it. So hopefully it doesn't go into the screensaver state anymore. And now obviously, if we just do on, that will turn that setting back on. X set dash Q. It's now brought our value for timeout back. So if we just go X set S and then provide it two numbers. Now the first number is going to be your timeout number. The second number is going to be your cycle number. So let's set the timeout number to 500 and the cycle number to 300. And if we run X set dash Q, as you can see, timeout is now set to 500 and cycle is set to 300. Now, one thing you do need to keep in mind with all of these settings is when you go and reboot your system, Xorg is going to forget about all of them. So what you're going to have to do is put them into some sort of script that will run on boot. Now, the easiest way to do this is to just stick them in your Xinit RC. Now, in this file, you can put a bunch of programs that you want to launch as soon as your X server starts up. So I'm doing things like launching my transmission daemon, launching transmission RSS, launching dunce, and you could also do things like X set S 600, 600, and then put an ampersand at the end just to make sure the process gets forked into the background. 
being such a short process, you don't have to do that, but if you don't do that, it'll take just a little bit longer to launch up your X server. So you can chuck any of those settings in here. Obviously don't do something like X set DPMS force off unless you want your screen to turn off as soon as your X server starts up. You can do it if you want to. I would recommend against it though, just because you're gonna think that your system's broken. So don't do that. But if you want to, feel free to do it. I'm not gonna stop you. There is also another approach we can take where we don't have to put all of these commands into our XNRC. What we can do instead is to move some of them into our XOR configuration. Now, I haven't found a way to do the XOR configuration for the screensaver settings. I'm sure it's got to be in there somewhere, but I haven't managed to find it anywhere in the manual. So if someone knows about that, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. What we're going to be doing is editing a file that is located in slash Etsy slash X11 slash xorg.conf.d and then there'll be no file in here but I've named the file 10-monitor.conf. I'm not sure if this name is important. This is the name that I took from the Arch Linux wiki though. So if we just open this file up, obviously you're gonna have to put your password in to look at it. And this file is gonna be empty. Now what I would recommend doing is just copying this template straight from the Arch Linux wiki. So the first section we have in here is our monitor. Basically you're gonna to need to give it an identifier the identifier doesn't actually matter. I've just copied what was on the Arch Wiki though. Now the first thing you're going to want to do in here is set the DPMS option to true. Generally you don't have to do this. Most systems will just default to DPMS being true, but it's just nice to have it in there just in case you migrate to something different where it's not the default setting. Now the next section you need is the server flags. The server flags are basically where you can set the times for everything. Now unlike Xset, these are done in minutes. So standby time is 15 minutes, suspend time is 15 minutes, off time is 20 minutes, blank time is 20 minutes. Now that's 900 seconds, 900 seconds, 1200 seconds, 1200 seconds. I don't know why one's in minutes and one's in seconds. It would make more sense if they're just both in minutes or both in seconds, but this is the way it's done. I don't know why it's done like this. And the last section you need is the server layout. And basically, I've just given it the identifier server layout zero. So this setting right here and this setting right here are basically just boilerplate to make sure that your X server is going to work. Everything else, though, is optional. You can include, say, just the standby time or just the off time. You don't have to set all of these settings that I'm setting in here at once. Now, the benefit of this is you don't have to run a bunch of extra commands in your XNetRC. Basically, what's going to happen is as soon as your X server starts up, it's going to read this file and basically it'll just read in the settings and we'll say, okay, well, these are my settings now. So it's a little bit quicker to do it through this method, and it just makes your XNet file just a little bit less bulky. If you're having any issues with this, I would recommend checking out the DPMS page on the Arch Linux wiki. I found it to be pretty helpful when I was learning to do all of this. So I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about in this video. Let me know, are you using X screensaver, are you using anything like that? Or are you just doing everything through Xset and the XOR configuration? Because you don't need a bulky screensaver, you just want the basic thing built into your monitor. Personally, I actually like X screensaver, and I'm going to do a separate video on that because I think X screensaver is pretty cool looking. I like those fancy looking screensavers, I guess. So I think that's pretty much everything for me, but before I go, I just want to thank my patrons. A special thank you to Joachim, Nathan, Andrew, Peter, Lee, Roe, Tony, Donald, Kulari, and Zilva. If you want to check out my Patreon, there'll be a link to that down below, as well as my Amazon affiliate links where you can buy the gear I use in this channel, or just anything else you want, and i got a small kickback for it. Also remember to go check out my podcast, that is Tech Over Tea, available on library and YouTube for the video version, and anywhere you listen to audio podcasts for the audio version. Also remember to go subscribe to this channel on library and BitTube as well, and remember to smash the like button and leave me a comment down below, and remember to subscribe and dingle the bell icon down below as well. So I think that's pretty much everything for me, and I'm out.